For ACUSports.com, I'm Grant Boone, talking Wildcat football here with head coach Ken Collins and senior running back, wide receiver, and kick returner Daryl Cantu Harkless. You're all three, and Daryl, on Saturday night, you became, with 98 kick return yards, the first player in ACU history to have 1,000 yards for your career in rushing, receiving, and kick returning. Does that number, what do those numbers mean, if anything, to you? Uh, I mean, basically they mean that I've had a lot of people to help me along the way. Uh, O-line, all quarterbacks throwing me the ball, and 10 guys blocking as hard as they can to spring me on kickoff turns. That's just a testament to all the players, all the great players I've played with since I've been here. Saturday night there in Las Cruces, New Mexico, just a crazy ending to I know what was a frustrating game for you guys. We'll talk about that last play a little bit later on, but you guys had the lead 22-21 going into halftime. And then even going into the fourth quarter, how frustrating was that third quarter for your team to not be able to add a little bit to that lead? It was, it was frustrating. It was, we were in the point in the game where we knew we had to make a play, and we, were just, we, just, we just couldn't do it. We were hurting ourselves. It wasn't much. I mean, New Mexico State had something to do with it, but we had most to do with it. And, I mean, it was always frustrating when we were holding ourselves back. I felt like that in a way the game resembled Illinois State – in this way, they got out to an early lead, and it took you guys a couple of offensive possessions to finally get it. Then you got it, and you got rolling. You scored the first touchdown on a great catch. Take me through that touchdown reception, because you caught it, did a somersault, stuck the landing. I gave you a 9.7. <laughs> uh, I mean, it was uh, one of the first plays that we ever learned when we come to, uh, when we learned plays here at ACU, and uh, it was an end cut across the middle of the field, and. JD ended up rolling out, so I just kind of pivoted around, ran to the corner of the end zone, and JD he scrambled for days. So he just got out of the pocket and made a throw around the corner where only his player can get it. And I was looking good enough to make a catch, I guess. Yeah. A tremendous uh, catch by you and a touchdown. You tapped the toes in and got it. Uh, just a thought from you as you have a week off. First of all, how badly do you and the rest of the team need a Saturday afternoon off? And then secondly, has it begun to hit you that you have two games left as an AC Wildcat? It feels great to have this week off. I mean, a lot of people's bodies hurt. Bodies hurt, and uh, we just we definitely need the time. But now, I mean, thinking about it, two games left, and that's it for me. That's, times went by fast. Huh? It has <laughs> only a couple of marbles left. Yeah. yeah, for you guys, Coach. Let's talk about uh, what was just a, a frustrating game. And, and let me start in this way. Um, I say frustrating, a lot of people would say, hey, that's an FBS. I heard a lot of people saying this. That's an FBS team. You guys took them down to the wire. You almost beat them. I didn't sense any of that from your team or you. No, we knew at halftime that we had played well. We had put together two quarters that weren't perfect. We had a turnover uh, mixed in there, but we had taken the ball away also. We knew at halftime, hey, all we've got to do is pull a repeat of the first two quarters because we were playing clean. We were moving the ball up and down the field. We were running it pretty well uh, we're putting the ball in John David's hands as far as a uh, just read game give throw run it himself and he was doing a really good job he was playing at a high level and so we felt really good at halftime little did we know that uh, we were not going to play well in the third quarter and that's what sets up the frustration because uh, you know we're moving the ball the first uh, first drive of that second uh, second half we're in great position to go down and put points on the board and that's exactly what you need to do when you get the ball in the second half and we get down there and go backwards with several penalties and then the next drive we we turn the ball over so that it turned into a deal where we're just trying to hold on now let's get it back on track and uh, and it, it took a while to do that and it took till late in the fourth quarter to be able to be able to do that and we 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 started limiting ourselves a little bit in the run game by not blocking just some basic uh, basic looks and uh, that's what was frustrating is we knew FBS team or not we got this game we got it and we just got to finish the thing and and uh, we didn't make enough plays to to win the game and ultimately they did the defense gave up 34 points and yet the offense in, at times put them in some tough spots mm -hmm. uh, they made a huge goal line stand to even keep it you know a 34 22 game that took us to the that last crazy sequence. 30 seconds to go. Your team was down by 12 points. You get a touchdown on fourth and goal. You recover the onside kick. Who got that onside kick? Hmm. I don't 38? Know. Yeah. 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 Um, it was Daryl who was down there at the bottom of that uh, scrum. And then you and then you get the, the crazy Hail Mary opportunity after a couple of penalties. 
you know, first and 20 from your own 21 yard line. I mean, it just you, you just don't ever see that happen. And yet there was this brief moment. I don't know what what was your vantage point on that last play? Well, I didn't have a good view. I was down by the offense and you know, with that play, you don't work on it all the time. We we worked on it the last time last time we covered that was in fall camp. It's just something you need to have ready and we covered it on the sideline again and, and then uh, and you go out and do it and you hope for a tip ball, you hope for the defense to misplay it, which they did. Mm-hmm. And uh, and Monty Green catches it and he's spinning around like a helicopter and he's He's got enough wits about him to pitch it to Taylor, and as soon as he pitched it to Taylor, that's the last thing I could see. I'm looking down this way. I'm like, we got it. That's it right in front of your bench. That's right, and and uh, because I didn't think they could tackle or catch Taylor, and they had a great, great made a guy made a great play and, and uh, forced us out at the six. But but that sequence. Uh, through uh, through through our touchdown drive, it was it was smooth. It was really really just clean and sharp. We were throwing and catching. We were protecting, throwing some screens in there, and uh, to get the touchdown, yeah. and uh, and then to get a to get an onside kick. An onside kick is very similar to a hail mary in that, you know what? It's all about the kick. Yeah. And and Thor uh, Warner. That's right. Who and, knew? And, uh, no, you did. Yeah. Yeah, we did. And we felt really. Good. It's, it looks kind of weird. Our, your kicker's not in there. You got a big linebacker that's going to do this, but he's good at it. And you yeah. do what your guys can do. So he put us in a in a position to be able to win the game. And and uh, I'm just I, I am we didn't play well, and I'm very disappointed. But I am proud of our guys because we played hard. I mean, we it was so fun in that atmosphere on the sidelines just to see the big picture. I mean, we're getting after it. We're making plays. Uh, we're making tackles. We're forcing turnovers. And people are having fun. We're having a great time. Uh, Daryl got to go over 1,000 yards in kick return. And, you know, he can sit here and say, well, you know, he had a lot of guys in front of him. And that's true. But there's been a lot of guys that have caught passes and run the ball yeah. and, ki- and returned kicks. And none of them have been able to do what he's done. So we're blessed to have this guy. And uh, – we're blessed to have an off week also. We're healing up and uh, taking a look at uh, some of our young guys this week. So it's kind of a little bit of a precursor to uh, spring ball. Yeah. And they're, they're fired up about it. And we got some cool weather. Yes. And uh, so our, our, linemen, our linemen are skipping across campus. You know, they're singing zippity doo dah and all that. So, yeah. so they're fired up. It's a good week. Well-deserved week off after nine consecutive Saturdays of playing football after Saturday on the road at Incarnate Word, and then the final game of the 2013 season at Prairie View A&M. For Daryl Cantu Harkless and for the Coach Ken Collins, I'm Grant Boone saying zippity-doo-dah for ACUsports.com.